Hey guys, Mike here at MS Tutorials, and welcome back to part two on bonus tools in Maya 2016. And as I said in part one, if you don't have the bonus tools, uh, there will be a link underneath the video showing you where you can uh, download it and install it, and it's free. Okay. So what we're going to do today is we are going to paint an object onto another object, and that's a pretty cool trick. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're just uh, simply going to take an object here. Let's do a cube and we'll just drag it up a bit. We'll hit control A for our attribute editor and in our poly cube one, let's increase the number of subdivisions. I kind of make that random. Now the number of vertices on your object is important because that is where your duplicate object will appear once you paint that on. Okay. So let's create something that we want to paint onto our cube. Let's do, uh, I don't know, a, uh, I think that thing's called a torus, right? Yeah, port torus. Okay, there we go. So there we go. Hit F to zoom in, R to scale down. We'll make that nice and small. doesn't really matter too much, okay? So we got our, um, our torus selected. We're going to shift select our cube. We're going to hit our space bar. We're going to left click on bonus tools. We're going to go to edit and we're going to paint duplicate on object. Okay. Looks like I didn't get that order right. First that one, then that one. Okay. And there's our menu. So now we got this little paintbrush kind of thing going on here. Now, once we start to paint on our cube and I'll just uh, zoom in a bit. You can see that's making all these little donuts on our object, right? So here we go. And you can just take any object and kind of paint that on. Now, a cool example to use this, for example, and we'll just uh, quickly do a new scene. Let's say you have a scene where you have a floor, I don't know, street, whatnot. And we'll increase the uh, poly count to, let's say, 20. And let's say that your duplicate object is a small character. Okay. And we'll just uh, simulate our little character by using a, uh, a cylinder. And we'll just make that nice and small. There we go. And we'll hit W, move that out of the way. So we're going to select our character. We're going to shift select our plane. We're going to hit the space bar, go to bonus tools, edit and paint duplicate on object. And now you can kind of populate your street, create a crowd. Okay. So I personally think this is very cool. It's uh, very easy as you can see. And if you have any questions, let me know. That said, thank you guys for watching and love to see you guys next time. Bye.